fellow Ant Keepers. Today I'm going to be opening a package including some stuff from Ant Kit. So let's dive right in. So in this box we have got some uh, tubing to sawtooth connectors, a size 2 nest and a size 4 nest. So both of these layers are made of acrylic with a cellulose sponge. Cellulose is an organic polymer, meaning no chemicals in the water system for your ants. So right off the starting blocks, we have a red acrylic cover. And why is this useful? If you are unaware, ants are almost completely unable to see any red light at all. Cool, right? So, if there's a translucent piece of red acrylic over the nest, the only light going into the nest is red, so you can observe them without them like rushing around and stuff. Certainly for more panicky genera like, say, Formica, this will be really useful. Not having these red light filters seemed a bit pernickety for the longest time, but now, since we're of course going into a new decade, I feel like it should be standard, so, I don't know, extra brownie points for Ankit? These nests are comprised of four layers of high quality transparent acrylic and one layer of opaque white acrylic for the base. This base layer has a hexagonal pattern on it, and the Ankit logo, which I couldn't focus on with my camera, so that's a cool touch. I'm not sure what this uh, hexagon thing does, but it certainly looks cool. On larger versions of the nest, uh, the hexagon pattern is only found near the hydration module. In this closest section to the hydration module, there is also an elevated second layer bearing the same hexagonal pattern. In other areas, it's just plain white acrylic. I really like the clean aesthetics on this nest. There is a choice between small connectors and large connectors, which they don't charge any more for, which is really nice. They also use uh, a sawtooth connector system, which is a rectangle then going um, into like a test tube adapter. And it's all 3D printed and very, very well made. These nests are made pretty well, designed with almost as much care as the Osant's nest, which places this nest firmly in the A tier. However, the red version is like five pounds more, which is like, I think, like six dollars, American dollars. So that doesn't really make sense to me, just five pounds more, just for a different color of acrylic. Uh, the hydration hole and the hole in the sponge didn't line up um, on my small nest. So a little bit of extra care on that would be good. But aside from that, excellent quality. And also uh, the sponge seems like the kind that may shrivel up over time. I've looked at all the reviews of these nests and let me tell you, I've seen everything from Laceus to Pogonomomax and Harpignathos even in these. So I understand that these are a very versatile type of nest. Uh, another nitpickety thing is they have no option to have taller chambers. This may be useful for things like certain Mimetia species need that sort of extra height because otherwise they just can't get into the nest and I think Ossens offers that so it would be nice to be able to pay a know, an extra pound or two to have um, taller chambers. But um, as I said, this is a nitpickety thing, so it really doesn't matter too much. Now, these nests are all around pretty much flawless, and I thought the flaw in this would be the price. But it turns out we're looking at, I think, £15, which is like $18 for the bigger one, and £10, $11 for the small one, which just, this blows me away with how cheap and good they are. I don't think there's any other people on the market right now selling this high quality for low of a price. This nest is easily Esther up there with Ants Australia nests. Yeah, so we're done with the review of the Ant Kit acrylic nests. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, drop a like or even subscribe because it would really, really be appreciated.